Fashion Hausa na BBC ke magana akan mita 1366 da kuma wasu tashoshin FM a wasu kasashen Africa. Masu saurare Umayma Sane Abdul Mumin ke muku sallama a cikin shirmu na karfe 3 daidai a gogon Najeriya da Niger. Wato biyu daidai a gogon GMT da Ghana. Ko a cikin shirin za a ji matar margayi jagoran yan adawar Rasha Alexei Navalny ta gabatar da jawabi inda ta ciki shugaba Putin a gaban majalisar dokokin tarayyar Turai. Gwamnatin Chadi ta ce an kashe mutanen da dama a wani hari da ake zargin yan adawa da kaiwa a ginin ma'aikatan tsaron kasar. A jihar Yoban Najeriya kuma dalibai da dama ne suka rasa rayukan su sakamakon bullar cutar sankarau. Sekarang saya sekutu musim lagi gigi sosai. Kalau yang saya la, kalau orang kita ugu musa bukan yang cik. Tiada boleh di sekolah di sekolah anda kerjakan kahwin sah. Kalau yang saya kumpai la dia makan tu nak kamar di depan depan semua semua solo su. Hukuman sekarang berani tak kan ubda aja harapkan orang syarikat awak mata hukum hukum tak masih gina gina awak igia. Ansa amat selalu lembut hari sena lakukan kamera hukum cinta hanun su sejasi yang kapulut yang ini ababus ali babu mabudana luan dek kamera tengah standard ai babu ini kamera aci wajen ini nama karanta wajen nak kasuan cie aci ki Na kuma yang ada wani suka fasata bayan shugaban kasa ya kammala jawabin da suke ganin bai gamsar da su ba kan halin da ake ciki a kasar amma kafin mu je ga rahotanni sai bayan Muhammad Anur Muhammad ya karanto mana cika kun labaran duniya Matar margayi jagoran Hamayya na Rasha Alexi Navalny ta gabatar da jawabi ga majalisar dokokin tarayyar Turai a Strasbourg inda tace an rika gana mijinta azaba tsawon shekara uku bisa umarnin shugaba Putin kafin da karshe a kashe shi Yuliya Navalnaya ta ce an kuma ci mutuncin gawar mijin nata da ta koma kan batun yakin Ukraine ta ce Mr Putin ba dan siyasa bane fa ce kasar gumin azalimi mamugunci Putin is the leader of organized criminal gang Ta ce Putin shugaban gungun masu aikata miya gullaifuka ne ta kara da cewa tattauna da sanya da sanya masa takunkumi ba su da wani amfani Abinda ya kamata kawai shine tarayyar Turai ta farauto lauyoyi da masu bayar da kudaden da ke bayarwa Putin damar abinda yake yi. To a wani labarin mai dangantaka da wannan kuma matar da ke magana da yawun marigayi jagoran yan hamayyar na Rasha Alexi Navalny ta ce a jibu Juma'a ne za a ji na'izar sa a Moscow. Kira ya mish ta ce za a yi taron addu'o'i a wani coci dake gundumar Marino bayan kuma bayan daga nan kuma abin ne shi a makabartar Boriskovsky. Kana kwana 12 da suka gabata Mr Navalny ya rasu kwatsam a wani gidan yari da ake tsare da shi. A bayan mukarraban sa sun zargi jami'an Rasha da neman sa mahaifiyarsa ta yadda a yi jana'iza sa ba tare da masu makoki ba. Wata fitacciyar cibiyar masana ta Amurka ta ce dakarun Rasha dake Ukraine sun kara kaimi a haraharan da suke kaiwa a yankin Arvikivka bayan da suka sassauta wato bayan da suka sassauta bayan kama garin a farkon wata kuna na hadiza ta biyar ta mahaifiyar mu ya shi neman amfani da wannan dama ta danna gaba ya iya warta kafin sojojin Ukraine su ja sabuwar daga tunda farko rundunar sojojin Ukraine ta ce ta ja baya daga wasu garuruwa uku dake kusa da birnin cibiyar ta ce Rasha ka iya kama wasu garuruwan a makonnin dake tafi amma kuma ta ce karin yankuna masu wuyar shiga can yamma ka iya zamar wa Rasha tarraki wanda hakan zai iya baiwa Ukraine damar jan daga Labaran duniya na zuwa muku ne daga sashen Hausa na BBC. Hukumomin Najeriya sun sanya harajin tilas na shekara shekara ga hukumomin da ke daukar ma'aikata yan kasa shan waje aiki a wani yunkuri na ganin kamfanonin waje na daukar karin ma'aikata yan kasa. A bisa wannan doka kamfanonin za su rika biyan kudin da ya kai wajen dala 1015 a duk shekara kan kowane ma'aikaci na waje. Najeriya na fuskantar matsalar tattarin arziki mafi muni da bata taba shiga ba tsawon shekara da shekaru. Lamarin da ya haddasa walalu na rayuwa da kuma zanga zanga a kasar ga abin da wata ma'aikaciyar jinya ke cewa This hardship is too much is too much As a nurse I can't wannan wahala ta yi tsanani ta yi tsanani a matsayina na ma'aikaciyar jinya ba zan iya ciye da iyali na yadda ya kamata ba rawatanni dai yana nuna cewa akwai ma'aikata yan waje sama da 150 a Najeriya yawancin su suna aiki ne a kamfanonin mai da na waya da kuma bangaren hotel Sai dai shugaban kasar Bola Ahmad Tinubu yayi gargadi da kada a yi amfani da sabon tsarin harajin wajen hana yan kasuwa masu zuba jari zuwa kasar. 
Gwamnatin Chad ta ce mutane da yawa sun mutu bayan wani hari da magoya bayan wata jami'ar Hamayya suka kai kan hukumar tsaron kasar. There is fear and tension in the capital Jamena as security forces. Wakilin BBC yace ana cikin fargaba da zaman dardara babban birnin kasar in Jamena yayin da jami'an tsaro ke ci gaba da sun tiri a tituna. Minister Sadarwa Abdurrahman Kulmala wanda ya dora laifin akan jami'ar Socialist Party without borders ko PSF wanda ya yadilo ke jagoranta ya ce an kama mutane da dama shi dai dilo ya fice wajen sukar lamirin shugaba Muhammad Idris Debi wanda abokin wasan sa ne na jini ana saran dukkanin mutanen biyu za su tsaya takara a zaben shugaban kasar da za a yi wata mayu mai zuwa haka kuma gwamnatin ta zargi wani jami'a ta zargi wani jami'in jami'ar ta PSF da yunkurin kashe shugaban kotun kolin kasar ta Chadi Mr. Dula da yayi watsi da zargin da cewa shiri ne kawai aka kitsa. To labaran duniya kenan daga sashen Hausa na BBC. To madalla a gaishe ka Muhammad Anuru Muhammad da labaran duniya. To yanzu kuma za mu shiga rahoton ni. Matar marigayi jagoran yan adawar Rasha Alexi Navalny ta gabatar da jawabi a gaban majalisar Turai a Strasbourg inda ta shirye cewa an azabtar da majinta na tsahon shekaru uku bisa umarnin shugaba Putin kafin a halaka shi Yulia Navalnaya ta kuma ce an ci zarafin gawar majinnata ga bulki su baban gida dauke da karin bayani a cikin wannan rahoton Ms Navalny ta sheda majalisar dokoki cewa dole su yaki wadannan gungun masu aikata laifi kana ta bayyana cewa bincike kan harkokin kudi a maimakon na diplomasiya shine ya zamana mafi muhimmanci ta kuma ce dubban miliyoyin yan kasar Russia na adawa da shugaba Putin kuma ya zama jazaman kada a gallaza musu Navalnya ta kuma kara da cewa dole Putin ya bayar da amsa kan abin da ya aikata ga Russia da Ukraine da kuma mijinta ta kuma ce wadanda ke wajen kasar Russia na bukatar su fahimci cewa Putin ba dan siyasa bane ba ce jagoran gungun masu aikata laifuka ko mawa yake akan kasar Ukraine a cewar ta da ba za a iya tattaunawa da Mr Putin akai ba zai iya aikata komai Ms Navalnya ta ce shugaban Russia na bukatar girbe abin da ya shuka kan abubuwan da ya aikata kuma ta lashi takobin ci gaba daga inda mijinta ya tsaya na fafutuka akan yanci ga Russia Putin must answer for what he has done with my country Putin must answer Ta ce dole Putin ya amsa duk abin da ya aikata wa kasa ta dole Putin ya bayar da amsa kan abin da ya aikata a kasa makwabciya mai neman zaman lafiya kana dole Putin ya bayar da amsa kan komai da ya aikata ga Alexia mai gidana ba zai taba ganin yadda makomar Russia za ta kasance mai kyawo ba amma mu dole za mu gani a halin da ake ciki a ranar juma'a ne ake sa ran gudanar da jina'izar jagoran adawar ta Russia Alexia Navalny a birnin Moscow mai magana da yawunsa Kira Rebish ta ce za a gudanar da bukukuwa a wani cioci a gundumar Maryino inda daga bisani za a binne shi a makabartar Borisovkoye Mr Navalny ya mutu ne kwanaki 12 da suka gabata a gidan kurkukun Arctic inda ake rike da shi. A gaida Bilkisu baban gida da wannan rahoton. Idan muka je Nigeria kuma kungiyar kwarago ta NLC ce ta yi karin haske akan dalilan da suka sa ta janye zanga zangar kwanaki biyu da ta soma gudanarwa a jiya talata a fadin kasar. NLC ta ce a yanzu dai gwamnati na da wa'adin kwanaki 13 domin cika alƙawaran da aka yi musu wajen ceto al'umma daga matsin tattalin arziki. Ga karin bayani daga baki mataimakin shugaban kungiyar na kasa Comrade Kabiru a domin jibar a tattaunawar su da Abdul Halilu. Mun zauna a jiya mun duba yanda ta gudana a dukkan fadin Najeriya kuma alhamdulillah mun yacewar mun cimma nasara mun samu abin da muke bukata yasa muka canja sabon salo na cewa da nan headquarter da yake Abuja da kuma dukkan jihohin mu 37 da suke Najeriya a je a gudanar da taro na injury do a sanar da su dalilin da yasa muka janye wannan zanga zanga da kuma kara wa'adin kwana 14 ga gwamnatin tarayya da ta yi abin da ya dace akan bukatun mu ko kuma a sake zama a dauki matsaya na gaba ana ita bukata ku ta biya kuliya ta biya kun sabu ba za mu ce bukatar mu ta biya ba domin har sai bayan wannan kwana 14 mun zo mun zauna mun sake dubawa mun ga daga cikin bukatun da muka bayar da kuma irin tattaunawa da muka yi da gwamnati a sakamakon tarurruka da muka kwana bi muna yi da su da assurance din da suka ba mu shin wannan an samu ci gaba ko ko ba a samu ci gaba ba Komer Kabiru a domin jibir ke na mataimakin shugaban kungiyar kwarigo ta NLC a Najeriya. To hukumomi a jahar Yobe dake arewacin Najeriya sun tabbatar da mutuwar daliban makarantan kwana 17 sakamakon barkewar cutar Sankarau a jahar. 
daruruwan dalibai ne dai suka kamu da cutar a jihar yayin da wasu gwammai ke ci gaba da samun kulawa ga rahoton Habiba Adamu cutar sankarau din ne ta kai ga ajalin daliban a cewar hukumomin jihar cuta ce da ba a saba ganin nau'in ta ba a Najeriya da kuma a jihar Tayobe jami'ai a jihar sun ce kasancewa ta sabuwar dangin sankarau ta bayar da wahala kafin ma aikatan lafiya su gano cewa nau'in ta si ce ta cutar sankarau Dr. Muhammad Sani Idris shine commissioner ilimi matakin farko da na secondary a jihar kuma ta wayar tarho ya shaida min cewa wannan ya jaridan da annuwa ta ciwon sankarau secondary school din mu sun aigirgiza sosai ko in siyara kaman guda 17 a cikin senior boarding secondary school Allah ya karbi kayansa yayin su kuma yara daga makarantu na primary daban-daban su ma kuma sauraro su Komishinan ya kuma bayyana cewa cutar ta fi kamari ne a kananan hukumomin Fatiskum da Fika da kuma Fauni inda ya kara da cewa cutar ta fi shafar masu shekara 18 zuwa ƙasa kuma an fi samun su a wuri ɗaya ne a makarantun kwana haka kuma cutar ta kama daliban makarantun kwana biyar zuwa shida a jihar kuma baki ɗaya waɗanda suka kama da cutar sun kai 473 amma daliban 370 a cikin su sun koma sun ci gaba da karatu bayan samun kulawar likitoci rasuwar daliban ta zo ne bayan makonni biyu da tabbatar da cewa cutar sankarau ce ta bulla a jihar sai dai na tambaye shi amma za a yi cewa kamar akwai sakaci na rashi daukar matakai da suka kama ata har da ta kai ga yara ɗan makarantan kwanan suka rasa ra'ayukan su shanin annoba shani ne da mutum ba zai iya cewa akwai sakaci ba ina ne ala misali za a ce sakaci idan mai girma gwamna ya bada umarni cewa Ministry of Education ta tashi daga headquarters ta na damatu ta dawo headquarters a Zambia inda wannan ciwon yake eh ina ne saka ce in aka ce Ministry of Health gaba da dan ma'aikatan lafiya ina ne za a samu saka ce a cikin da school din da malamai suke aiki awa 24 muka tsara musu kowaye na malamai guda uku za su awa uku za su ringa zuwa suna tambaye dalibai akwai maran lafiya ko wanda yake jin ciwon kai ni a matsayi na commissioner da duk cewa gabannin wato ma'aikata na ilimi duka mun dawo zuwan dan nan mun tare to bayan batun dalibai shin wannan cutar bata bulla ba a cikin mazauna gari da dalibai kai ta shafa akwai kadan daga cikin mazauna gari kuma wanda ni ba zan iya bada ba a cikin su ba saboda al'amarin da ya shafe ni na fi maida hankali a kai shine abin da ya shafe harkar makaranta a matsayi na commissioner na ilimi kwana bi kenan a cewar commissioner ba a saki samun mutuwar wani dalibi ba a jihar sakamakon cutar ta sankarau a baya dai daruruwan mutane ne suka rasa rayukan su sakamakon bullar cutar sankarau a sassan Najeriya kuma a halin yanzu akwai bukatar mahukunta su tashi tsaye wajen kare samun karuwa mace-mace ba wai a jihar ta yoba kadai ba har ma da sassan kasar Habiba Adamu BBC Hausa a Abuja a Najeriya to daga yobe sai ibiya dake kudancin najeriya inda yanzu haka rundunar ran sandan jihar ke ci gaba da tuhumar wani uba mai suna Theophilus Ude bisa zargin kashe dan sa mai suna Sande Ude mai shekaru 27 saboda ya cinye guntun abincin karshe da ya rigewa iyalan gidan wannan lamari da ya daga hankulan al'umar najeriya musamman a kafofin sada zamanta inda ake ganin wannan yanayina da nasaba da tsadar rayuwar da ake ciki anan gaba ne dai ake sa ranza a gurfanin da uban a gaban kotu bayan kammala bincike kamar yadda za ku ji karan haske a cikin wannan rahoton na Umar Shehu El Leman Tuni dai rundunar ƴan sandan jihar Abia ta tabbatar da faruwar wannan lamari da ake zargi Mr. Theophilus Ude dan shekara 57 da aikata wannan ta'asa ta kuma ce ana ci gaba da bin bahasin wannan lamari da ya faru a unguwar a mazuku dake a umawahiya a dan ranar litinin jami'ar hulɗar jama'a ta runduna ɗan sandan jihar Morene Choma Chinaka wacce ta zanta da BBC ta ce an kama Theophilus Ude da ya kashe ɗan sa saboda yaron nasa ya koma gida kuma ya cinye guntun abincin na ƙarshe da ya rage cikin tukunyar girki a gidan we got an information as isuchi divisional headquarters that on the 25th of February 2024 that the uh, one to you fellows is from Asia Mauru shot and killed an kai rahoton faruwar lamarin ne a sashen ɗan sanda na Umuna ce a rana 25 ga watan Fabrairin shekara ta 2024 cewa wani mutum Theophilus Ude ya harbe ɗan sa da bindiga har lahira an kama wanda ake zargin tare da kafa shaidar abinda aka samu a gidansa 
wanda ake zargin ya aika ta asal jiki lamarin da ayyuci ake zan ciki an kuma ni ta shi ba sai shi wannan can aika da manyan lafuka na jihar domin gudanar da bincike mai zurfi sannan kuma za a gurfanar da shi gaban kotu kamar dai yadda lamarin ya nuna Mr Ade ya fusata ne ganin dan samu rigaye zai iya shiga cikin kitchen ya dauki abinci ya cinye ba tare da samu izinin sa ba sakamakon haka cikin fushi ya kusa cikin dakin sa ya fito da bindiga ya harbe dan nasa lamarin da ya kai ga mutuwar dan nasa tunu dai rundunar dan sanda ta yi watsi da wani labarin da ya nuna cewa mahaifin ya amfani da wani abu mai kaifi wanda ya kai ga ajalin yaro dama dai tun farko bayan samun labarin nan take yan unguwar suka kama Mr Tupulus Ude inda suka daure hannunsa biyu suka dora shi kan gawar yaro Ude wanda ke roƙon a yi masa jinkai ya dora alhakin abinda ya aikata akan sheidan inda yace ya yi nadamar abinda ya aikata bincike ya nuna akwai miliyoyin ɗan Najeriya da yanzu ke kokawa cewa suna fuskantar karancin abinci da kudi a hannunsu wani lamari da suke zargi cewa ya ƙara ruruta matsananciyar rayuwa da suke ciki wasu daga cikin masana tattalin arzikin ƙasa da kuma ɗan Najeriya dai sun dora alhakin abinda ke faruwa tun bayan da gwamnatin Najeriya ta janye tallafin man petrol wanda suke cewa ya ba ɗan ƙasar cikin rayuwa ta nafsi nafsi Omar Shehu Eleman BBC Hausa daga Lagos a Nigeria to da haka agogo muke cewa karfe 3 da minti 16 a Najeriya da Niger, Kamaru da Chad biyu da minti 16 da kenan agogon GMT da London Umay Masani Abdul Mumin ke gabatar da wannan shiri daga nan sashin Hausa na BBC kuna iya garzayawa shafin mu na bbchausa.com domin karanta wasu labarin da muka wallafa to gaba a cikin shirin zamu je jihar Kano inda ake shirin fara daukan mata kai kan masu gine gine a awan igiya amma yanzu bari mu je Burkina Faso inda gwamnatin Burkina Faso ta fitar da sanarwa a cikin daren jiya talata inda take kira ga al'umma kasar da su sanar da jami'an tsaro kan duk wani hali na tuhuma da ba su yarda da shi ba hakan dai ya biyo bayan wasu jiran har hare da kasar ta fuskanta a ƙarshen makon jiya da suka yi sanadiro mutuwar mutane da dama da suka hada da jami'an tsaro masu aikin sa kai da farar hawula a wurare daban-daban na kasar ga rahoton cima ila yusufu daga invest with confidence from ga cikin halayen na tuhuma da aka ambata a cikin sanarwar manema lafaran akwai kira ga yan kasar da su sa ido sosai kan dadewar mutanen da ba a yarda da su ba a kusa da wani wuri mai muhimmanci jin tsoro ga wani mutum ba tare da wani dalili ba da kuma la'akari da kaya ko kumshi da ba a yarda da su ba a kusa da wurare masu muhimmanci gwamnatin kasar ta Burkina Faso ta fitar da wannan sanarwa ne kwanaki uku bayan wasu da ake zargi ɗan kungiyoyin masu da'awar jihadi ne suka kai wasu jerin hare-hare a wurare daban-daban na kasar an kashe musulmi masu yawan gaskiya a har masallacin na Nacio Boani a gabashin Burkina Faso wata majiya mai tushe ta bayyana cewa an ta'addan sun shiga garin ne da sanyin safiya sai suka kiwaye masallacin suka yi ta harban kan mai uwa da wabi an harbe da dama daga cikin su har da wani baban shugaban addini wadanda aka kashe duk musulmi ne aka sari maza kuma wadanda suka tare a masallacin domin yin sallar su bahin a wannan rana da aka kai harin na masallacin wani mummunan harin shi ma ya faru kan mafiya da dai karkatoluka da suka tare a wata coci harin da ya kashe akalla mutane 15 yayin da ake gudanar da gangami a cocin da ke arewacin kasar Burkina Faso a cewar baban magatakardar cocin dori har ilayo da an kai wasu hare-hare da dama akan sojojin takwalu da batali invest with kalle gaggawa ta 16 kusa da kungusi da batali da gauraya a yankin Uwaheguya nan ma dakarun sojin kasar da masu aikin sa kai da dama ne suka rasa rayukan su sai dai wata majiyar tsaron kasar ta ce daruruwan maharan ne dakarun kasar suka yi nasara da gargazawa duba da faruwar hakan ne shugaban majalisar mulkin sojin Niger Jana Abdurrahman Chani ya aiki da sakon ta aziya jiya ga takwaran sa na Burkina Faso wanda ya bayyana cewa waɗannan hara-hara na dabbanci waɗanda suka auna sojoji da yan sa kai da kuma fararan hula sun hada su asara rayukan mutane da kuma barna mai yawa a cikin wannan yanayi mai ta da hankali inji general abdurrahman chani a madadin majalisar mulkin sojin kasar ta niger da gwamnatin kwankwariya da kuma al'umma kasar yake mika sakon ta aziya da kuma juyayi ga gwamnatin burkina faso da kuma yan uwan kasar ta burkina faso tare da fatan samun sauki cikin gaggawa ga wadanda suka jikita cima ila isufu bbc hausa daga maradi jamhuriyar niger to daga niger bari mun nufi chadi inda gwamnatin chadi ta ce an kashe mutanen da dama 
bayan wasu da ake zargen yan adawa ne sun kai hari kan ginin ma'aikatar tsaron kasar ministan sadarwa na kasar Abdul